Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Jan Thyssalat and each Thursday I come back with a new video. So it's Thursday and this video is dedicated to me trying to do the challenge started by Erga Josh. It's an amazing, awesome artist and YouTuber whom I follow and whose videos are very inspiring for me and I really got a lot of great stuff from his videos so please uh, if you don't know him if you've never followed him please do so he started a challenge which consists of um, drawing the same image three times in a row so kind of you set up a timer take a reference preferably something that you've never drawn again or something which is not you're not really familiar with like not really something you draw every time and uh, draw this image with the one minute rest between them. So it kind of helps you learn from your mistakes and see uh, if you can improve if the third sketch is way better than the second. Uh, of course, it was kind of funny that Erga Josh set up this um, rule that you have to choose something you've never drawn before, but he'd also drawn a girl and he usually draws girls. And a lot of people commented in his comment section that they would be probably more interested to see him draw, I don't know, a landscape or something else. But when I was thinking about what, what, what should I draw, what should I do, as you can see, I'm also drawing a guy. And I usually draw portraits or people or something like this. And you see, I thought that probably, yes, of course, I could have drawn a flower or a gun or any other object, which I don't usually draw, even though as an artist who often draws like scenes with uh, landscapes and stuff. It's not really that easy f for me to immediately come up with an idea of something that I've never drawn before. But I thought that I'm not really interested uh, in anything else other than humans at the moment. And I let myself, my mind, wonder what I can draw which is in the field of my current interest in art, can, which I can learn something from. And to my shame, I realized that I've never actually studied Asian faces. Even though I did draw black people, and once I remember I tried a Native American person, even not once, probably twice. But somehow the only time I tried to draw an Asian person was when I made Avatar fan art and I was drawing Prince Zuko. I hope you guys know this wonderful movie and you love the characters. But that was not exactly it because I was just trying to do a more realistic version of the character and I didn't really study an actual person. And, I, I, and then the moment I re realized this, I knew this is, what I, this is what I'm going to do because I really want this. I really want to study that kind of a face and I just want to add Asian features to my visual library. So I chose a guy and I was deliberately looking for a person who doesn't look like a model or somebody who is very polished. Just, just a guy. That's, that, that's the impression I've got from the reference I found. Probably this is also a model, but like in my opinion, he looked more like like more real life type of a guy. I wouldn't agree with Erga Josh that he says that this is kind of a challenge that only 90% uh, finish. Like to me, it isn't that hard because of course, as an artist, I've done this before. I sometimes it just really happened without really me wanting it. Like sometimes I just start a portrait or a painting and try to do this and I fail and then I just uh, frantically erase, delete everything I've done and start all over again and fail again and then start out again and eventually come up with something <laughs> decent. This did happen to me quite a lot and I never knew that was actually a challenge. That was my process of learning and studying faces and uh, going through my mistakes to a result which I was anyhow pleased with. But this time was somehow harder because never before that I challenged myself to do this within a particular time limit. The time limit I chose was 30 minutes and of course this video is much shorter because I kind of make it fastest because I think that you guys would be kind of bored with watching me drawing for like one hour and a half. So my time limit was 30 minutes and that was the first thing which affected me because the moment I pushed uh, the button on my phone with a timer, I felt so stressed. Like suddenly my hands were shaky and I felt like I don't know what I'm doing and I tried to do everything much faster than I used to, especially with the first sketch. And I felt like inwardly I was trembling as if I had to 
pass some kind of an exam. And it did really feel like this, as if I am myself setting myself kind of a goal, which is not just to learn something, but to prove to myself that I am capable of drawing something decent within this time limit. And that was kind of unpleasant to discover that I'm so judgmental of myself. Nobody was watching me. I was home alone. I was just, it was just me and my tablet. And I didn't really have to even have to show it to anybody. If I failed, if um, the picture didn't look the way I wanted to, I didn't have to publish it. There was always a possibility to do this again. But I was thinking like, it wouldn't be honest. If I'm doing this, I really have to show the result I got. And actually, this is what I'm showing you guys. This is what you see. This is how I handled this. And the first drawing, it was incredibly stressful. I felt so anxious. The second one was kind of a little bit easier. And I think that I just tried to not to push myself so much. So I was more careless with it. And I would say that the second drawing is my worst in this series because I was trying so hard to let myself go, not to push, push so hard on myself that somehow I didn't really pay as much attention to proportions and to resemblance as I should have paid. And um, you can see this, that kind of I, I was drawing much more slowly and the, I didn't really like the lines, so I and I saw this. I saw that um, the portrait looks less li like the model, and lines kind of they become more shaky. And it was so strange because when I was watching Ergorosh, uh, he was showing completely different results. So, so kind of it also was very frustrating for me because I thought that why like he felt like he was doing better and better with each uh, rendition of this and I'm doing worse and I feel more and more discouraged with this and this is one lesson which I got from this exercise that you should never compare yourself to others in terms of how you learn because we are all different and uh, we process information differently and also we handle stress differently and in my case drawing within a specific time limit was definitely a stress factor and I handled it kind of probably in a different way than Erga Josh did or anybody else and that was really interesting to notice <laughs> then when I started drawing the third sketch I was already so stressed and so discouraged I was almost at the point of quitting it and that was the moment when I remembered Erga Josh saying that um, only like 90% people finish this challenge and this is probably the month when I realized why this is an issue because in my case I haven't felt this discouraged and doubtful of my own drawing skills I haven't felt like this for months and at this point I decided to go on because I knew that, uh, well, no, <laughs> no, you're not getting me like given up now, not now. I will go on, I will finish this and I will have to face the results, whatever they might be. So I kind of breathed for a minute, studied some of my mistakes, which were a ton of them. I think everything in the second round was a mistake. And I decided to do this for the third time. And this time I was like, okay. I'm just going to do this no matter what, even if I will end up completely disappointed with myself. Well, this, this happens, this is life. It happened to me before and probably it will happen again, many times again, but still I just have to do this. And so I did and at first I had an impression that my third drawing is going to be the completely the worst. And the amazing thing is that now when I see this and when I was almost at the end of drawing the third one, I realized that no, it was actually much better than both the first one and the second one and that Erga Josh was right. But what I realized is that the first two drawings didn't work out because my mind subconsciously, without me notice noticing it, tried to adjust the features of this guy to a more kind of a European face. And I didn't really understand this. And that was what, what was going wrong, because intuitively, without really studying the face, I was just trying to draw something that I did many times before. I, I, I draw faces, I draw men. And this was the problem. And only in the first rendition of this challenge, I 
started actually seeing the guy I was drawing. And uh, it was hard for me to capture his features without trying subconsciously to adjust them to what I already knew. And this is probably why his face and my drawing at first looked the most wrong to me, because it was very different from what my inner image was telling me to do. But that was incredibly useful, because suddenly I realized that at, after all this struggle, only now my drawing starts to look as my model. And it, it just feels so awkward and strange to me, exactly because I've never studied a face like this before, like this in this thorough method, that like really trying to capture it. And I'm, I'm not used to this. And that was a, a really deep lesson to me, not only on the level of art, but just like a life lesson that it is so easy to project our expectations and our patterns of what we already know on other people, especially if they're different from us. And we really need time and effort to get to know those who are different from us and to really start to understand them, to start seeing them and to really start seeing them, not just as um, something which is not our opposite or something which should be like us, but as a thing of their own. I hope you guys understand what I mean. And that was really kind of mind opening. I always knew this as a theory that when we study something new, we really need to take time and, and effort. But that showed it to me that this idea in such a real way, like I felt it with all of myself. And now as I see all of those faces before me, I see how my mind kind of journeyed from trying to draw something typical of me and then moving through that stage of complete lostness. Yes, exactly. My, my second picture is the worst because this is where I was the most lost. This is where I already kind of stepped away from the familiar image of a face. Uh, which didn't really look like the model because I didn't really try to draw what I see I was drawing what I thought I should draw and in on the second drawing I kind of was completely confused because I couldn't do what I did before but I didn't know how where should I go further and only on the third drawing when I was completely despaired and I dropped all defenses, I dropped all expectations of myself. I was I, I just I just wanted to complete this challenge. Only then I really started to see what I'm doing without myself knowing this. And this is a very interesting thing. I really wonder guys if you will do this challenge what sort of obstacles and troubles you will feel. Please share with me if you will do this. I would really love you to tell me about your experience in the comment sections because I, I really wonder what you will come up to while doing this challenge because it really did turn out to be very useful for me and uh, not only as an artist and not only just to update my visual library which i did of course as you might see but also as a person and uh, right now i can see that i'm much more interesting to drawing more of really diverse faces than i was before that because right now i, I really kind of i thought that well i can draw anything this is only just i i'm i'm really really good at uh, capturing uh, resemblance and uh, I can draw any face but now I see that I, I was wrong and I'm really happy that I did this challenge so thank you Erga Josh. That was indeed a really good challenge, a great life lesson and um, a cool way to come out of an art block just as you said and I was there and the, it really did inspire me to do something else and to see where to go from here. Now when I assembled all of the free sketches together it is so easy to see my progress, how my understanding of the proportions and the features changed simply within an hour and a half because as I said I've been drawing each sketch for 30 minutes and this progress is so amazing and uh, I probably should really do this more and even with that hateful time limit because the stress I went through somehow 
made me do many things differently and maybe this is not the bad thing this maybe this is something which actually made me learn faster even though harder so tell me what you think do you think stress is good for learning or you prefer to avoid it at any cost because in my case i realized that sometimes probably i should put myself through a little bit more of it to get better results i really hope you guys subscribe to my channel like this video and tell me in the comment section what you think about what you just heard. Thank you so much. See you soon.